Welcome to Crayola's channel. I am Lynn Lily, kids crafter, maker of things fun. I love crafting and I am from Craftbox Girls and Craftbox Kids and today we are gonna make a fun craft. And I love this because you know what? It's winter and sometimes we're getting stuck inside with snow days. I'm here in Atlanta and we haven't had a snow day in a really long time so sometimes we like to pretend like we have a snow day. And what's more fun than doing that than with a snowman craft? So today we are going to make this really cute little snowman notebook and it's really easy and fun and the best part is you can use the same technique to make different shape notebooks. All right, so to get started, here is what we need. So we're going to be using construction paper. So you want to have two sheets of white construction paper and that's going to be the front and the back of our notebook. You're going to want to have a stack of just inexpensive printer paper. You don't have to use your construction paper, but that's going to be your inside sheets. Then we're going to be using glue. So we're going to need a glue stick. We're also going to need some washable glue. And we're gonna use glitter glue to decorate. So that's optional. If you don't have it, you can always use markers. You're going to need a scissor. You're gonna need any kind of markers. I've got my Silly Sense markers here because I love them. They smell so good. Um, a pencil. If you don't have a pencil, you can use a marker. And then you're gonna need a variety of construction paper. So I've got red, orange, black, and brown. And those are gonna be to make all the different pieces of our snowman. All right, let's get started. So go ahead and take one piece of your construction paper, of your white that you got. Remember, you've got two, so we're gonna start with one. And I'm gonna make a little bit of room here. Now, you can use a pencil to draw. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna use a marker so that you can see it better. Because sometimes it's hard to see the pencil on the sheet when I'm drawing, okay? So we're gonna draw the outline of a snowman. Now. It's easy if you wanna draw three circles, you can, or if you wanna start at the top, what we're going to do is we're gonna draw the head first. Okay, and we wanna make it big enough so that we have plenty of space so that when we make it a notebook, we wanna have space on the inside of our notebook to be able to write and draw. And we're giving our snowman three big snow walls, okay? So we've got the shape of a snowman. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut that out. And for time's sake, I have two already cut out. So what you wanna do is you wanna cut out one, and then you're gonna use that one and trace it a second time on your other sheet of white construction paper, okay? So you're gonna have two that match, all right? So we got two snowmen right here. Now, we can set this aside because we're gonna start with the one that's gonna be our cover and we're gonna go ahead and decorate that. And we're gonna get our other pieces of construction paper, which we have here. So let's talk about our snowman arms. So we're gonna start with our brown construction paper. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our snowman and we're gonna lay it over our brown construction paper. And we're gonna actually draw the arms coming out from each side. So I'm gonna draw, and you know what? Oh, you can see, okay, I wanna make sure that you guys can see it really good. I'm gonna draw my snowman arms and hands, which are gonna be made from a stick, right? Because when we make a snowman outside, we usually stick a stick in the sides. So we're using brown construction paper. So we've got one right there, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, okay? And my snowman just has three fingers. You can choose to give your snowman however many fingers that you want, okay? So we draw them. And then we can take this off, right? And we can extend these just a little bit because we're gonna need to glue them to our snowman. Now, we're gonna take our scissor and we're gonna cut these out. So we're gonna cut out one here and one here. Now, if you wanted them to be exactly the same, you could always draw one and then cut it out and use it to trace the other one. So that's always an option but I think it's okay if they're a little bit different. They don't have to be perfect, right? And I chose brown so that it would look like sticks, but remember, you can choose any color you want. That's the fun part about crafting. You can decide and make your crafts however you like. The only thing that you need to do is just get creative and use your imagination, right? So maybe your snowman has purple legs, right? or in purple arms. <laughs> you could add legs to your snowman too, right? However creative you want to get. 
All right, so now we've got our arms and our hands, and we are done with our brown construction paper. So we've got these guys right here. Now what we can do is we're gonna build our snowman as we go. I'm gonna actually flip it around so we don't see any of the pencil marks, and I'm gonna take my glue stick, and I'm gonna put some glue right on the end here. So just like that, and I'm gonna put it right on the back, so it sticks out just like it was when we laid our snowman on our brown construction paper, okay? So next, what we're gonna do is we're going to give our snowman a face. So we'll come back to the other colors of construction paper that we have out. And, but now we're gonna take a break. We're gonna take out a marker. And so I'm gonna be using a black marker because snowman, right? Coal for your eyes and your mouth, right? So we're gonna use black. And my silly sense it smells like marshmallows. Ooh, it does, it smells like a freshly opened bag of marshmallows, it's so fun. You can use any markers that you have. You could even use crayons or colored pencils. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw two coal eyes right at the top here. So one and two, you can make them as big, you can make them circles, you can make them ovals. Remember, coal is not perfect shapes, right? So it doesn't have to be perfect when you're drawing it. Okay, I'm gonna do one more right there. And you can make them as big, as small as you want. Go back over them if you need to. Now, what do we put on our snowman nose? It's usually a carrot, right? Okay, that's why we have orange construction paper. So we're gonna take our orange construction paper, and since I'm just gonna be cutting a triangle, I don't necessarily need to draw it, but you can most definitely draw it. I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut a triangle out, okay? And we'll double check and make sure that it fits our snowman. It does. All right, so now we're gonna take some glue, drop the table there, get our glue stick back out, and we're just gonna put some glue right on the back, and we're gonna glue this onto our snowman's face. Okay, now our snowman is made out of snow, so he's cold, right? Our snowman needs a scarf. So that's why I've got some red here. We're gonna make a scarf. So I always like to keep my snowman handy. We're gonna put it on top so we know how wide our scarf should be. So what I'm doing with my pencil is I'm just drawing little lines on either side by where the top of our snowman head and our body are so we know how wide our snowman's neck is, okay? So just like that, you see we've got two lines here. I'll move them up so you can kind of see my two lines. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna draw a curved line that connects those lines, okay? And that is going to be part of our scarf. Okay, we're gonna cut that part out first. So it almost looks like a collar, right? And we're gonna make another part to the scarf in just a second. And so if you use pencil, you can always erase your pencil lines when you're done. If you're gonna use the marker crayon to draw, you can always flip it over, okay? So like that, and then I'm gonna use my pencil and I'm just gonna erase. I love these Crayola pencils. Um, if you are looking for pencils for school or for any of your projects, I highly recommend them. They have the best erasers in all of pencil eraser land. <laughs> they literally, if there was a land of pencils and erasers, these ones would be the king and the queens of the pencils and the erasers, they're so good. They literally erase the lines like magic. Okay, so let's get back our snowman. And we're going to put our collar right there. So let's go ahead and use our glue stick. And I'm gonna just put some glue right down on there. And that is the top part of our snowman scarf. Right there. Okay, now, you know the scarf, when you tie it, there's usually like a part that hangs down. We're gonna make a little part like that. And it doesn't have to be anything crazy. I'm literally just gonna draw just a little curved line. And I'm gonna make the end right there. You can choose to do a straight line. You can get, you can make it curvy. You can do it however you want. But that's how I'm gonna make mine. And that is gonna be part of my scarf. So like after you hang it, when you kind of have the tail of your scarf that's hanging down, that is what we're gonna be working with there, okay? And you can always color and add patterns. So if you want to give your snowman a fun pattern scarf, you can use your markers, you can use your crayons, okay? We're gonna set this aside. All right, now, there's two ways. It can come from this side, 
we want it to come from this side, or we can flip it over, and I'm gonna flip it over so that you don't see the pencil marks, and I'm gonna have it come from that side, okay? So I'm gonna put my glue on it right here, and if you're using a table that's covered like mine, I've got paper on my table, so it's okay if I get glue on it. Um, you can, if not, just use a scrap piece of paper to glue on top of. I don't want you to get your parents' table sturdy, okay? All right, so now we've got a scarf. What else are we missing? Our snowman needs a hat, right? Okay, so we've got some black construction paper to make a top hat for our snowman. Now, you don't have to use black. You can choose to use whatever you would like, but here's how we're gonna do it. No matter what color you use, take your snowman and put the edge of your snowman's head on your piece of construction paper. And then you can draw your hat based on how big you would like it to be. All right, so I'm doing my lines in, and we're gonna make it a nice big top hat, okay? Just like that, and you can sketch it out. And again, you choose whatever color you would like. All right, so I drew my hat. I'll show it to you so you guys can see it. You can see that pencil pretty good on that black paper. And we're going to cut it out, All right? Follow those lines that you just traced. And if you're trying to craft with me live, remember you can always pause the video and get caught up if you need to, because I go a little fast when we're doing these videos. Okay, we got our top hat. I'm gonna make sure it's a little bit even. I'm gonna even mine out just a little bit so that my brim is about the same on each side. That's good enough, right? Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, now, do you want to add anything to your snowman's hat? You can. So we've got some red left. If we want our snowman to coordinate with our scarf, we can put our hat and we can make a nice little line that goes across the hat. So all I'm gonna do for that is I'm gonna lay it on my red and I'm gonna trace the sides just like that, okay? And then I'll just draw a straight line underneath. And that will give us a nice little band to put on our hat. It'll give it a little color. Look, we are becoming fashion designers for snowmen. It's not fun. So maybe you'll get to build a real snowman, which I will be so jealous this year. Um, you'll get to have some fun. So you can make some things for your snowman. Doesn't have to all be things. You can find some stuff outside and then maybe you can make some things with some old clothes that you have that you can donate to your snowman's wardrobe. All right. And if you do, we definitely wanna see a picture. So if you're crafting something fun for a real snowman, we definitely want you to share it and use the hashtag Crayola Crafts. All right. So I'm gonna put that red right there, but we are not gonna glue this right on top right now because we're making this a notebook, okay? So remember, we have our second piece. We're gonna come back to dec finish decorating in a second, but we've got our second piece of construction paper that we cut out. So the, remember, those two are the same. Okay, now, what you wanna do is you wanna take one of these, so this one, and trace it on a bunch of different pieces of Printer paper works. So you don't have to use your construction paper. Um, you can use printer paper, but if you've got a lot of white construction paper, you can use that as well. Trace a whole bunch of pieces. This is gonna be your inside pieces to your notebook, okay? So however big, however many pages you want your notebook to be, you wanna cut that many pieces. And you want them to be the same size as your front and back cover, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna line all those up. So get them lined up. And we're going to put them right there on top of the back. And sometimes you might, there we go. We wanna flip them, make sure that they lined up because sometimes you know you're not the same on each side. So make sure it lines up. And we're gonna put that on top. Okay, so we made a nice little sandwich with our back cover, our inside sheets, and our front cover. Here's where our stapler comes in. We're gonna take our stapler and we're gonna put one staple right at the top of our snowman's head. And I'm gonna put two more in. That is gonna give us the binding of our notebook. So when we open it, we now have a notebook, right? And it's gonna stay together with those staples, okay? So now what our next step is gonna be to cover those up, because those don't look pretty, right? That's where we have our hat. We're gonna take our liquid glue, and we're gonna put our liquid glue right over those staples, just like that. And I'm using my liquid glue just because it's a little bit stronger than my glue stick. And we're gonna glue the hat right on there. 
All right, what is our snowman missing? Buttons, right? Okay, so we're gonna use some glitter glue and we're gonna give our snowman some buttons. So I've got some blue glitter glue here. If you don't have glitter glue, you can always just use markers, right? Up to you. So I'm just going to squeeze out some glitter glue and I'm gonna do some buttons. I'm gonna do three little buttons. Squeeze it out. And then you can use the tip of it if you wanna kinda of make them in a circle. You can, and then you'll let your glitter glue dry before you use your notebook. So check out this one. Ta-da! Now, if you wanna get real fancy with it, you can also write your name at the bottom like I did. That's it! You made your very own notebook. You can do this with all different shapes, sizes, animals. You can use the exact same technique. All right, I'll be back with more fun crafts for all of the seasons and fun. So stay tuned and make sure you're following Crayola and you use the hashtag Crayola Crafts. Bye friends.